I'm Dahlia and welcome back to A Training Flower. So today I'm going to teach you how to make Nutella Swirl Peanut Butter Ice Cream Sandwiches. These sandwiches are out of this world, plus they are made with my two ingredient no machine ice cream, which is extremely simple to make and it's so, so delicious. Plus, it's a lot healthier than a lot of the store-bought ice creams that have so many chemicals added into them. So I'm really excited to share it with you and let's go over the ingredients. So the ingredients that you'll need are some sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, graham cracker crumbs, Nutella, confectioner sugar, peanut butter, tea biscuits, and a pan. So now let's get started. So we're going to begin making the two ingredient no machine ice cream. So I'm going to place my heavy cream into a bowl of a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment and beat this on medium high speed until stiff peaks form. Just make sure you don't over whip it because then your cream will turn into butter and you do not want that to happen. Okay, so this looks perfect. I'll show you the stiff peaks here. Basically, you'll get some cream on your whisk and if it doesn't fall, you know you've got stiff peaks. Also, you could turn this over Actually, don't do that. That kind of scares me. Don't do that. But if this doesn't fall, this is stiff peaks. So my stiff peaks have formed, and now I'm going to add the sweetened condensed milk. So just pour that all in. Now we're going to whip this on high speed again, just for about two to three minutes. It looks so, so good and creamy, and it really does look like, like a melted ice cream, kind of. Now I'm going to place this into a container and freeze it until I'm ready to use it. If you weren't going to use this for ice cream sandwiches, you could just place this container in the freezer overnight or for six hours, and then you'll just have a delicious vanilla ice cream. And you could also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract in here if you like. It's up to you, whatever you like. Now I'm going to get this into the freezer until I'm ready to assemble my sandwiches. Now we're going to make the peanut butter chunk filling for the ice cream. So you'll need the peanut butter, graham cracker crumbs, confectioner sugar, and melted butter. I forgot to include the melted butter in the original list of ingredients before because I had left it in the microwave melting, but now you know you need some butter. So we're going to add in the peanut butter. graham cracker crumbs, confectioner sugar, and then the melted butter, which is just going to bind everything. We're going to give this a good mix until you get like a creamy peanut butter mixture. Now I'm going to place this in the freezer for about 20 minutes, just until it becomes a little bit firmer and we can begin working with it. So now let's put together all the ingredients to make this delicious ice cream. I've got the ice cream, which has been frozen for about 30 minutes, so it's just a little bit thicker. The peanut butter chunk filling, which I froze for about 15 minutes, and some Nutella. I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon and put clumps of the peanut butter filling all over the top of this ice cream. And you may not end up using all of the peanut butter filling. You'll plan it based on how your ice cream looks. And now you're gonna add globs of Nutella. So we're going to put glob here, glob here, a glob here. Now actually I was going to use a rubber spatula, but I think I need a offset spatula. Now we're just going to swirl it all together. You don't want to mix it, you just want to swirl it. And now, you're just going to take your spatula and fold a little bit, just so the stuff at the bottom gets swirled in. Now we are going to assemble the ice cream sandwiches. So begin with lining a 9 by 13 pan with some plastic wrap. Now you're just going to press the plastic wrap into the sides here. Now I'm going to begin placing the cookie down onto the pan. I'm going to place them side by side, but you do want to leave a little bit of room in between each cookie. 
I filled up most of the pan, but there's still a little strip here that needs cookies, but they won't fit in sideways. So I'm just gonna put three of them going lengthwise. So all the cookies are in, and you know what that means? Now we can add our ice cream. So I've got this delicious, delicious ice cream, and we are just going to scoop it all over the top. And now just spread it out evenly. And you want to be careful not to move any of the cookies underneath ice cream, so just spread it slowly and carefully. Of course, I've got to get my offset spatula. So just go in with an offset spatula and make sure it's extremely smooth. So my ice cream is all smoothed out, and now we're going to put a final layer of the biscuits. I've covered my pan with some press and seal, and now I'm gonna go stick this in the freezer for six to eight hours or overnight, and then I'll come back and we'll cut it up, and you'll see what the ice cream sandwiches look like. So my ice cream sandwiches sat in the freezer overnight, and as you can see, I've changed my outfit because it's the next day, and now I'm going to take them out and cut them up. Just peel off your plastic wrap. See, they're looking so good. And now we have the handy plastic wrap that was underneath. See, it just lifts right out. And I'm going to turn this around. And we're going to begin cutting them. So fold back all this plastic wrap. And you do want to do this quickly because your ice cream will start to melt. So you're going to take your knife. First, you're going to run it down the edges just to get rid of any of that excess ice cream. Now you're just going to cut down the lines and try not to cut the cookies as you cut down. These are so, so, so cute. Look how adorable. It looks like you bought it in the store basically. And you can see all those little layers of Nutella and peanut butter filling. Mm, it looks so good. Too bad I can't try it since I don't eat dairy. But you guys can make it and then you could try it. And of course, I do have people that taste test these. It's not like I just make things and send them your way. I do make sure they're all tested and delicious. So I really hope you guys give these a try. You can get the full recipe on my website. It's rainingflower.com. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to go click down the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so you can get new videos in your subscription box every week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.